to tell you what tops it off is that Anthony and Phillips, our captain, elected to kick off instead of receive, or we might have got 900 yards. Great hey, job, man. Oklahoma football is brought to you by Budweiser, Beechwood Age for that clean, crisp taste. This Bud's for you. And by Varsity Clubs of America, guaranteed luxury lodging and much, much more. BCA and Oklahoma, a winning combination. And now your host for Oklahoma football, head coach Barry Switzer and Dean Blevin. It was a record setter in Norman on Saturday as the Sooners beat Kansas State. And, Coach, before we get your reactions to that, there were a couple of other big ball games we'd like to know how you feel about. Notre Dame snaps the winning streak of Miami, and Nebraska really handles Oklahoma State. Well, first of all, the Notre Dame game with Miami was a game that obviously we didn't get to see. We saw a little bit of it in our locker room at halftime, but uh, it was an exciting ball game, a classic, as they would say. But uh, Miami didn't play their potential. When you have seven turnovers, uh, four fumbles, which is uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic and threw 50 times and had what three interceptions and still had a chance to win the football game uh, I'm glad Notre Dame did win because that's the only realistic chance we have for a high national finish and uh, for Nebraska or Oklahoma in our league or Oklahoma State so uh, that's the best scenario for us now Nebraska at uh, OSU, OSU at Nebraska and Lincoln it was a game that I thought would Obviously, Nebraska win because I thought Nebraska would score and move the football against OSU's defense. Uh, OSU obviously proved that they're a good offensive football team, and uh, I think Nebraska is suspect of defense this year. Uh, I've had people at Nebraska very close to program say they're suspect on defense this year. So it was a high-scoring game no one envisioned, but I thought that Nebraska would win and, and win a couple touchdowns. Kansas State was not suspect on defense. They were flat bad, and we'll talk about that as the tape rolls. We'll, take, we'll pick up first quarter action. Oklahoma, Oklahoma hosting Kansas State. The Wildcats kick off. It's actually a re-kick as Porter kicks it to the end zone, and there is no return. Start out on the 20-yard line. He starts with Anthony Stafford uh, and Damon Stell. Uh, halfback, Perry at fullback. Charles Thompson. We run the fullback trap the first play, and... There's Leon Perry. Leon Keep your feet, Perry. Leon. Make a longer run. Gain of 17, first and 10. Wishbone. Run a counter play. Stafford. 10 yard, another 10 yards. Anthony Stafford on the carry. First and 10 again. Wishbone. Run a trap again. About five or six yards, seven yards. Second and three. Option. And Charles Thompson gets the first on the Charles option. Thompson with the ball. Very quick, and Charles had a good game. Pitched the ball. Stafford. He had a bust for Damon Stell, but Stafford's speed is so great. The three people in pursuit had no chance to get him. Could have been a loss. Pick up of eight. Counter to Stafford again for a few yards. Wishbone. Charles Thompson. Quick pitch to... Damon Stell, Damon's outside, Stafford trying to block support. Damon Gives another Stell first down. Stell picks up 14 yards, first and 10 from the 15. Hand the ball off in the fullback trap again. Touchdown by Charles Thompson. Great quickness, 11 yard run Charles Thompson, through the end zone. See that one again. That's the way you draw it up on the board. Second and six. His speed is so unbelievable. It's really just, he is so quick, so fast. We've timed him in 4-3-5, and he has got great quickness. Oklahoma, six is nothing at this point. R.D. Lash, you're on for the extra point. It is good. The 80-yard drive culminated with the it's touchdown good. run by Thompson. Seven nothing, Oklahoma. Now, the kickoff here, Coach, is by Rich Conrad. We've, we've uh, had three kickers in the game yesterday. We keep, that the win made us 
kick deep on side. Good coverage there. That's what we did against Texas all last week. But the wind was such a factor. We had a 25 mile an hour win out of the south. Here's uh, their first series. Tip intercepted. Kind of how uh, they're down 14 to nothing. They only had one snap. Kenny McMitchell makes a big play. We'll see it again. It's first and 10, and this is Carl Straw, the first play for Kansas State. He, en he ends up having good numbers, but a terrible start. He throws, and this is second-team quarterback, and the ball is tipped by Blevins, and Kenny picks it off. And we get great field position here. 21-yard return by McMitchell. He's an, old, take over. he's an old wishbone hat quarterback, Dean. He's out of Indianapolis, Indiana. How many quarterbacks do you have on the roster? Oh, he played in the secondary now, but obviously he was a uh, quarterback. Tight end around. Here's our new tight end. Twinkle <laughs> toes, trips and falls. That's Adrian Cooper. And he's uh, directing traffic there. He's trying to point. Hey, they, they think they all have to do that. <laughs> Gain of 16, first Here's and 10. Here's Charles Thompson. Adrian busted on right then, though. He didn't block the end. Anthony Phillips in at guard. That's uh, Rodney Anderson at fullback. Third and Charles five. Thompson, speed, speed. And he is quick. Charles Thompson, touchdown, Oklahoma. Touchdown, Oklahoma, last year on for the extra point. 25-yard drive and four plays. The extra point is good. Oklahoma on top, 14 to nothing. 10-24 remaining in the first period. It was a long day, I tell you, and especially for their side of the field, but it was a long day for us, too. It just seemed like the game went on forever. I was talking to officials, and officials had to catch a plane at 6 o'clock, and I told them, <laughs> boys, you're not going to make it. <laughs> so they had to stay to spend the night. And this one from Conrad goes they into the end. They tried to run the trap a few yards. Tackle there by Blevins. Good defensive pressure. Backus, Evans at tackle, Tony Woods. And they fumble the football again. Straw fumbled the snap. The recovery is by Blevins. First and 10, Oklahoma from the 17. And on the fullback trap, Leon Perry. Leon's got a foot injury. He, he's been bothered by that entire year. Hand the ball to Gaddis for three or four. Second and goal. Yeah, well, I don't know why. We got penetration here, Charles and Charles got caught from behind. Busting our front. Bootleg pass. Touchdown to Adrian Cooper. On the third down conversion, Oklahoma successful. Cooper's already had a big day. Cooper is uh, good prospects. Anthony Phillips pulling on the bootleg. Here's Cooper coming in the flat, and Charles throwing the ball on the on a bootleg action, tight end flat. After the flat turnover, 17-yard drive, four plays. The conversion by Lasher is good. Oklahoma on top, 21 to nothing, 756 still remaining in the first period. You know, we kept hearing the score from Phil, uh, from Lincoln, and uh, we were scoring at the same pace they were. They'd mount to score 14, then 21, and we'd score 21, 35, while we were 35, 42, 42 at the same time. Trap play. Cricket games three, second and seven. Curtis Williams at nose guard. Senior, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Got hurt in the ball game. On Curtis, the pressure. Blevins makes the tackle. Cobb's pass complete to Dylan. Gain of 11, the first, first down for Kansas State. Fumble of football. Kevin Thompson, nothing going right for him. So Oklahoma's up 21-0, takes over in the middle middle portion of the first quarter from the 45. Eric Mitchell, bootleg, Jamel Holloway, you can tell Jamel's limping here. Try to throw an out route, and uh, we've got Eric Mitchell, Rod Fisher at halfback, Rodney Anderson. There's a bust, it's a good run, but the halfback busted. He came in front of the quarterback instead of behind him, man. Gain flight. of seven. Pitch the ball to Eric. Makes that guy miss him. Picks up seven. Power eye. Fumble the football. Did you feel you would play Holloway before the day started? He wanted, yeah, he asked to play. He wanted to play. He knew he wasn't full speed. Every kid wants to play. You can see him limping right there on his ankle. 
Hit Adrian Cooper on a cross line. Big Adrian, he's uh, 6'5", 250. Runs about a 4'75". Big target, good receiver. Jamail's limping. Here's Rod Fisher. 20-yard gain. Out of the eye formation. In power eye when he ran that. Pitched the ball. Bad pitch. Jamail. Jamail's not the same right here. Arad gets the ball back. We lose. You know, we rushed for 800 yards yesterday. And we had 31 yards and uh, losses, which subtracted. Jamail tries to throw the flag routes, intercepted in the end zone. The brawl. But we had 800 yards rushing and 31 losses. We set, still set a national record, broke our own record. We set against Colorado in 80. I've never heard of any team rushing for 800 yards. Big day. Second and seven for the Wildcats. There's a good blitz by our linebacker. And we gave up one possession. That's why I was kidding Anthony about on the teaser, is that... Uh, it starts the second half. It was our choice. We could receive. We're leading 49 to nothing. And Anthony said, I will kick. <laughs> our backs were upset with him because that eliminated one opportunity for them to have the, be in the ball game. Here's Glenn Milburn. Glenn Milburn on punt return. Glenn Milburn on a return. Flag on the play. 11 yard return clipping against Oklahoma. 11 penalties. Coach Stafford on a power play. Well, he came out of that and scored. Anthony Stafford on the carry. An 80-yard run. 11 penalties in the first half, 14 for the day. The the big day, that department. One right very good. Just inside the 47. Stafford comes up out of that and nearly breaks it. Pickup of 19. And Mike Gaddis is a great run. Mike breaks a bunch of tackles and scores. Runs away from him. He's got good speed. And I was worried about him in high school. I thought maybe he's only a 4-7 back. And he's running a lot faster than that. And I'm sure that many people following him felt that this type of run was inevitable. Gaddis breaks loose for a 53-yard touchdown. Let's see it again. Good job running. Breaks that tackle. Breaks this tackle. And outruns the rest of them. I know there's a difference in 40-yard dash speed and speed with pads on, but what type of runner is he? Just he in a we, ti 40? we timed him 4.48. He's a run under 4.5. He did, it gives you the illusion of not having speed when he's strung out, but he can run. Last year's conversion, once again good. Oklahoma up by four touchdowns now, 28 to nothing. 152 remaining in the first quarter. There's a re-kick, and Conrad kicks to Madden. Into the wind. See, it's a short kick. See, it's a 25-mile-an-hour win we're kicking off into. Chris Cabanis, one of the tacklers there. Split receiver covering kickoffs. Come on, gang. We've got to pressure these guys more than that. Pass to Jones. Pick up of 12. There comes a the guy. Get after him. Scott Evans. Fullback pop play. A few yards. Gain of two. Pick it over the left side. Good on the shotgun. Spot. Utah fake, Utah pass, and throwing deep. Pretty good throw. Incomplete to Washington. Punt the football to Glenn again. Fake fair catch. Rolls in the end zone. Oklahoma gets it up 28 zip. First and 10 from its own 20. Bootleg to Charles. <laughs> Get out of bounds. Charles Thompson keeps it. Hard earned three yards there. But uh, he's going to get 77 quick right here. And he is some kind of fast. Only played the first half, racked up some solid numbers. 77 yards. He wants 80 yards in two plays. He made three on first down. And on second and seven, he ran at 77. And with Artie Lasher's extra point, the Sooners in the first quarter play 35 to nothing over Kansas State. We still have a lot more Oklahoma football, so stay with us. We pick up second quarter action, Oklahoma on top, 28 to nothing. It's first and 10 from the Oklahoma 39. Throw the ball in the flat to Hernandez and incomplete goal and coverage. 
holding against the Wildcats, first and 20 from the 49. Good rush for Tony Woods, Scott Evans. Woods is hurt. Woods has got a knee injury in the ball game. I don't think it's as serious as we thought at first. Utah pass. Kenny McMitchell, 12, knocked him loose, man. Got to do a better job of tackling. Had made too many yards on us yesterday. Gain of 10 brings up third and 19. Wayne Dixon in his face. There's the streak route against fade, fade route against pass interference coverage. against Oklahoma. Yeah. I ripped the ball loose there. Second and 17. Gain of 10. Crossing route. And makes complete. it fourth and seven. Kansas State punts. Look at the wind. <laughs> it really holds the ball up. 25 miles an hour. Blew for two days like that. Holloway back Holloway's in. Holloway's at uh, fakes. Keeps the ball. Great job of acting. He's got the ball and stands and he couldn't find his receiver. Now he's in the end zone. Throws a complete to Anthony. Gets back to line of scrimmage. And people ask you why you don't pay. First and ten, too. <laughs> <laughs> got that ass the other night, didn't it? That was so much fun. Let's see it again. Yeah. Well, here we go. What a great fake. 36 goes in there to help make the tackle. And say, who's got the ball? Here's your mail. He's standing around like Elway. Yeah. <laughs> Elway can see him. <laughs> Jamel can't find it. Well, he has the, the gumption to dump it off here. Look at him going down. He's going to throw it. Look at that. Look <laughs> at Jamel. Throwing it away. going to be an Oski. Can't play like that. All of that for a loss of two. See him limping right here. Damon Stell for about nine, ten. Pitch goes to Damon Stell. There was a procedure call against Oklahoma, third and eight from the 14. Mel trying to throw the football here. Throws complete to Artie Guest. First down. Pickup of 11. Artie Guest playing better? Mm-hmm. He's finally wearing glasses. He's caught the ball since he's been throwing, wearing glasses. Can't believe that. Here Stafford hits a crack, picks up a good yardage. But he's wearing uh, goggles, glasses now. He's caught the ball better in practice. Ball's tipped, nearly intercepted. Second and 16 after a holding call against the Sooners. It's obvious Jamel's limping here. It's nearly caught by Stafford. I mean by Perry, fullback screen. Perry, ca Perry catches two, one for touchdown here. This game, Jamel, I think it's right here on this series. Interception. We called interference here. I already guessed. I thought it was an interference, obviously, but it, I thought it was an uncatchable ball, and uh, which it was. But here's the pitch to full back out of one back set. Lee Big Leon gets uh, 15, 20 yards. It's a new look there. Well, we run options out of one back sets, too. Here's how Jamail's limping. Looks like he got nails in his shoes, doesn't he? Good job of running here. Well, I guess the question is, why is he playing? <laughs> well, he wanted to play, and we're throwing the ball. We're not running on options. He hadn't been put in a situation where he's run here. He's this the ball. He hasn't yeah. re-injured the ankle. No, no, he hasn't. He didn't get hurt in the game. Oh, I, I had uh, read that he had no, twisted uh, the ankle. He's, oh, he's okay. But he's uh, throwing the football here. Gain of 17, first and 10 from the 27. Pullback trap. See, he hands the ball off there. Here. Didn't hurt his ankle there, hands the fullback. You should know, Dima, you're an old quarterback. You guys got it easier than anybody on the football <laughs> team. You all like to come practice. like going out and playing 18 holes of golf to be a quarterback. 18 handicap. There she's though. pitching the ball here. Damon Stell, he busts that blocking scheme. Damon gets a few yards, first down. Stell picks up four, first and 10 from the 16. And here's a fine play, but Leon Perry, good catch, stays in bounds. Takes one for touchdown. Really good athlete. Let's we'll see that one again. Leon's 230 pound fullback. Good job, Nigel. Good throw, Jamel. 
88 yard drive, 13 plays. Perry gets it in. Oklahoma on top, 41 nothing at this point. And Lasher's extra point is good, making it 42 to nothing. 701 remaining in the first half. And now what do you do? You just hope no one gets hurt? Yeah, we substitute freely all the time, but uh, we've been doing that. We've been playing, trying to get all our backs playing. With an it is an interception, but the ground first, wasn't it? Frank's in the ballgame, second and ten. Come on, Blevins, wrap him up. Good pass rush there by Tom Backus. Sophomore from El Paso, Texas. Bunch of sophomores right there. Loss of 11. We'll see it again. It's fourth down. Big Bacchus. He runs a 4.740. About 6'6", 285. Kansas State punts to the Sooners who pick it up. Fourth and 13. Last year attempting a 66-yard field goal. With the wind behind us, 25 mile an hour, he already came up and said, let me try. I think he, hit, he didn't hit the ball good. I mean, he didn't get all of it. I could tell the way he hit it, and he was disappointed. But he knew he thought he could make one from that range with that type of wind, which would have been a, what, a conference record? First and 10 at midfield. Ball tipped up in the air. Dixon, a la Luke Anus there, almost got it some hands on it. Second and 10. Running play. Sonny Ray Jones on the carry. Third and eight, straw to pass once again. Looks like he got a nail in his shoe, too. The way he goes back, set up. <laughs> Come on, Wayne Close. Intercepted. The crazy. He's an old quarterback running the ball there. Yeah, speaking of converted quarterbacks, he's another one maturing nicely. We'll see that one again. Intended for Hernandez. Quasi picks it off like Kenny Mitchell, McMitchell did earlier on the tip ball. Returns at 30 yards. First and 10 from the 40. Charles Thompson. Gain of 15, hurt first right and here. 10. Charles got uh, stung right there. Here's a good play. Charles read the option, and the ball was full back. First option. Anderson. Anderson for 16. Charles got stung on that last one. Run the full back trap. Should have scored there, Rodney. Anderson. Scores a play later. Second and goal from the one. He puts it in the end zone. You say Thompson was stunned. That last run, he's limping now as he comes off. So he's through. And that's the end of the play. That touchdown makes it 49 to nothing. Oklahoma on top of Kansas State. It's halftime. Oklahoma has a very commanding 49 to nothing lead over the Wildcats. In a moment, we will reveal the response to last week's Sooner Survey question when Oklahoma football continues. Welcome back. It's halftime of the Oklahoma-Kansas State football game, and it was a crazy weekend of college football. Couldn't believe some of the scores in the state of Oklahoma. Of course, Oklahoma State had 63 points scored upon it by Nebraska. Oklahoma scores 70. Houston scores 82 on Tulsa. Can it you was, explain that? Well, lack of defensive play. It, uh, I, I just look around the country, and I don't know if there's really a dominant defensive football team in college football today. Even Miami is probably not playing as well as, uh, as they have in the past. I know that we're not statistic-wise, but yet at the same time, our statistics are better than anyone in the Big 8 Conference. We're our how we're playing statistically indicates we might be the best defensive team in the league, but yet we're not what we used to be. And I look around the country at other teams, and it's really amazing that uh, the number of points people score on people today. And uh, I don't know the reason why. It just maybe runs in cycles. This is a poor year for defensive football. All right, Coach, time for the Sooner survey question. Last week's question pertained to Arkansas. 
asking if you think Arkansas should become a member of the Big 8 Conference and shove aside Kansas State. And not surprisingly, the majority, an overwhelming majority, 91% of the phoners said that, uh, yes, they think they'd like to see Arkansas in the Big 8 instead of Kansas State. Well, that, that's, I'm obviously, I understand why, but... Uh, you know, Kansas State brings a lot in basketball. They're a charter yeah. member of the Big 8 Conference. Well, and they bring, too. they bring a lot more money than probably about three or four schools do uh, and others because of their basketball uh, to the table for the Big 8 Conference. And you know what? Really, Arkansas probably does belong in the Big 8 Conference geographically, and we belong in the Southwest Conference. And uh, so they could get out of the Southwest Conference, so we can go join the Southwest Conference, and they take our spot in the Big 8 Conference. It All would right. fit better. This week's question, Coach, is one that maybe after the Los Angeles, the game out in Los Angeles, you wouldn't have thought that uh, would be asked, but I think right now it legitimately can be asked. Do you think that Oklahoma has a legitimate chance to win the national championship? If you believe that answer is yes, call the top number, 1-900-363-51. And if you don't, call the bottom one, 1-900-363-52. A lot of people called us last week. They said we didn't give them enough time, so take a look at that closely. If you believe, yes, Oklahoma has a shot, 1-900-363-51. We'll remind you that it costs 75 cents per call. pick up third quarter action Oklahoma on top 49 to nothing and uh, your man at midfield makes a wrong call here huh yeah Anthony Phillip gave up a possession here Kansas mm -hmm. State gets the ninth kickoff Jason Belser number 29 he does a great job in covering kicks specialty teams hitch screen a slot back and Jerry Parks gets him out of bounds draw to Washington pick up of nine Five sacks in the ball game. They're on a pop play. That's a good job. Seems good. First and ten. Kirby at nose guard. Dylan breaks loose. New yard game. Pick up of 32. First and ten now for Kansas State. Mitchell hobble there from the 33. All batted up in the air. Wayne Dixon. Backus, Wayne Dixon, Backus, Scott Evans. Third and 11. Good play to James Good, sophomore. Old front there, sophomores. Kansas State James punts Good. to Oklahoma. We pick it up after the replay here. Straw sacked by Good. Sophomore from Houston, Texas. Played at Yates High School. State champion, 16 and 0 when he played. New backfield here, coach. Here's uh, Estelle. Damon Estelle. Pick up of eight. I formation. Mel uh, Chris Melson is at quarterback, number 17, sophomore from Ada. And the ball to Rodney Anderson for a few yards. Second and six from the 31. Melson, the option play. Chris got pretty good speed. He runs 4 6 40. He's going to throw an interception here in a minute. He didn't see it. Pitched the ball. Stafford stumbles and falls to 15. Anthony Stafford on the carry. Two tights. He's going to bootleg it. Come on, run the ball. Okay. There's the ball out of bounds. Melson, a gain of 13. We'll watch it again. Fake bootleg off the power play. Melson yesterday, 10 carries, 72 yards. He lost 11, so a net of 61. Heard our national rushing stats. <laughs> and the ball off to Rodney Anderson. Runs right by the linebacker. You never saw him. Pick up of six. And the ball to Stafford. Four, five, six. Stafford, another solid Stafford day, Coach. Stafford. Ten carries, 83 yards. Eric going to break loose on a couple here in a second. Bootleg. Gonna throw the ball down the middle. It's intercepted. Trying to throw to Stell in the end zone for a touchdown. And the guy runs it out. Stafford scared him out. Stafford says he's going to hit him right in the mouth with his headgear. 
Damon, I mean, Anthony's wanting to play defensive back for us. Pick it up first and 10, Kansas State from the 40. Throwing deep. Good catch there. Pick up of 42 yards. Coach Straw ends up having a big second half. 27 of 41 for the day. 336 yards. Well, they came on second team players mm. and uh, against the second, third defense. So I hope that they're on a first bunch so we can't have that. Big games. I'm sure, though, Bobby Pronker and Gary Gibbs prefer those numbers. I mean, even though they weren't against starters, he'd... Yeah, you don't want big numbers on the pass defense. Playing a lot of freshmen, true freshmen. Charles Franks, Belster, Terry Ray, Daryl Ray's brother. Played for us, a great player. That's number 19. He's gained 30 pounds since he's been here. He's out of Colleen, Texas. He weighed 162. He came up this summer, weighs 192 now. They throw a touchdown pass. Great catch there to Washington. Good player, Washington. Good. Quarter on for the extra point. 84-yard drive, 11 plays. That makes the score 49-7. to seven. Kick it deep to Glenn Milburn. Number five, uh, salt freshman, true freshman from Santa Monica, California. Holding hey, against Oklahoma. Return. First and 10 from the Oklahoma 15. On the counter play. Got a slip Look a little there. sloppy right now. Eric Mitchell, bye-bye. Speed, speed. Eighty-five yard run for Eric Mitchell. And the sooner score, last year's extra point is good. The third quarter in. Sooners ahead of Kansas State, 56 to seven. Fourth quarter action in a moment. Kansas State with the football. Draw back to pass, hits Washington. Touchdown. Big play. You know, I think you know that's a big thrill for both of them. Throw that 90 yard touchdown pass. Pass complete to Greg Washington. Proctor didn't like touchdown. it. <laughs> it wasn't a big thrill for Bobby Proctor. And there you see the score. That makes it 56 to 14. We pick it up. First and 10 from the Oklahoma 32. Eric Mitchell up the middle. Literally. We bust, we bust that play too, right there mechanics techniques and we get it i've never seen this play before in football that a, a pitch out is stuff you see it in basketball where a guy rejects you he rejected the pitch out and uh throw and complete they complete a few passes here Game charles up. franks a true freshman in coverage Game runs 12, the back trap runs over his guard they fumble the football and charles franks gets it Pitch the ball to Eric. Rod Fisher got to cut him. Block him up high. Eric gets to you. Gain of 12. Dead yeah. ball foul against Kansas State. Out of bounds. Glenn Bell's in it. Uh, good cut to Nelson. Breaks a few tackles. Glenn Bell, number 20, is in at fullback. Muskogee. I formation, Eric Mitchell touchdown. Whoa. That's terrible tackling. Eric, 57 yard run. <laughs> Eric has him a big day. Yeah, about 165 yards and about six carries. Pretty good average. That's the Earl the Pearl pirouette there. Good run. Last year's extra point is good. Oklahoma, three plays, 82 yards. That makes the score 63 to 14 Sooners. We pick it up fourth and 14. Porter attempting a 53-yard field goal for the Wildcats, and it's good. Long way. 63-17. Pick it up second and five from the Oklahoma 49. Nelson on the option play. Good job to run. He really broke that. He's a converted quarterback, defensive back, quarterback, to quarterback. He was quarterback in high school, led eight of the state championship. He's got a funny run to his shoulders shimmy shake. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good quarterback. Stepped out of bounds at the six-yard line. 
Sooners couldn't put points on the board. We moved to K-State possession. They throw a touchdown pass. Well, hits Hernandez. They picked us right there. We got 19 and 15 collide. They score with 103 remaining. How about Glenn Milburn here on the pitch? A little freshman out of Santa Monica, California. You got a little quickness. Great runner. And you're looking for the record at this point, Coach? One more play, and this breaks the record. Joe Moody from Chicago, a walk on out of Chicago, breaks the record we hold. We go 768 yards, makes a cut there, cuts back, goes 34 yards for a touchdown. His mom and dad were down for the game from Chicago, and uh, thought maybe he might get the play, and he did, and he set the national record. They said they called home to Chicago to tell everybody what happened. They said, well, we already heard it, heard it on national television. Joe Moody <laughs> scored. Oklahoma wins 70-24. When Oklahoma football continues, we'll have our Budweiser player of the game and our OU sidelines feature, so don't go away. And it's time now to visit the OU locker room and meet our Budweiser player of the game. And our Budweiser player of the game for the Kansas State game is Lawton native Charles Thompson. Charles, you had three touchdowns running, another throwing, over 120 yards. Uh, I guess you really enjoyed the day. Yeah, I had a very exciting game today. I think our team played played well. We did. Out, we went out there in the first quarter and uh, you know put some points on the board early and, and, and basically went out there and did our job, and that's, that's basically what we like to do. The mechanics of the wishbone looked like they were going better, not not just because you were playing a team that really was pretty weak, but, but the mechanics looked better to me, were they? Yeah, definitely. So, you know, after the, the drive we had against Texas last week, that last drive, I think it kind of unified our team somewhat a little more. And, and you know, we're practicing better. We're, we're, we're working as a, a unit and, a, and as a team. And, you know, this today just just kind of uh, shows the public that, hey, Oklahoma's, you know, they still can move the ball. They still can put the points on the board and, and that, uh, you know, they can't count us out for the season. What about Colorado next week? Well, we just, they're a, a, a good football team. You know, they can, they're an excellent uh, wishbone attack like we are. And we're just going to have to go out there and, and uh, play ball control and move the ball and, and put points on the board and help our defense out soon. Okay, Charles, thanks for being this week's Budweiser Player of the Game. Congratulations. Now let's go on to the OU sidelines feature.